let's come to center. We'll let go of the rush of the world, the hustle and bustle of our day-to-day -day lives. And we'll arrive within, connecting to our breath. And as we breathe in and out, we notice the breath in different parts of our body. So we might think we're noticing it in our belly. However, if we allow ourselves to tune in we might notice that our right shoulder or left knee or low back is actually where we're noticing the breath. So we'll just take a short while with the mindset of appreciation and gratitude to feel the breath in all of the places the breath travels within us today. And now gently, with tenderness, we begin to deepen our breath. And on the in-breath, the next in-breath, allow the body to rock forward gently. And on the out-breath, we settle back. And this is more easily felt if we're a little bit forward on the chair, like in the front half of the chair. You'll notice the natural rocking of the breath. And now we're gonna bring the breath into our feet and on the in breath, we're gonna dig our toes into the mat. And on the out breath, we rock back to our heels, lifting our toes. On the in breath, we come forward and bring our toes to engage the mat. And on the out breath, we rock back and lift the toes. So now we're doing a Padabanda, breathing and rocking in and out. And then we pause, sliding the hands out to cup the knees. We're going to arch the back. And on the in breath, we slide the hands up to press into the top of the thighs, lift the heart, and create another curve opposite of the arch. And we come back to neutral, breathe in. And on the out breath, we're taking the twist to the right. The in breath, we're back at center. 
the out breath, we twist to the left. The in breath, we're back at center, sliding the hands out, arching into the cat arch, out breath. The in breath, the hands slide up, press the thighs into the chair, lift the heart. Breathe out, pause in center. Breathe in. On the out breath, this time we're gonna to twist to the left first. Breathe into center. Breathe out to twist to the right. Come to center. On the out breath, we cup the knees and arch the back. The in breath, hands press into the thigh, the heart lifts. Out breath to center. And pause here. And now we notice the breath again. And we watch where the breath travels to in our mind. Where is our mind noticing the breath connecting with our physical body? Rocking a little bit to the right, we're gonna draw that left leg up and we're gonna bring it right above the hip joint. Excuse me, bring the, bring the ankle above the knee. Hold on to the bottom of the foot, anywhere like the heel maybe. We're gonna take the forearm or left forearm and press into the left thigh just a little bit. We don't need to hurt ourselves. We're just pressing until we feel the stretch. We have a nice flex in the foot that's in our hand. And then gently rock forward and back. We're rocking forward and back. So we're getting into the pelvic girdle. We're feeling our way into our hip joint. Maybe that tight little sciatic pincher, the piriformis. We're just feeling our way, gently rocking. And the next time we're forward, take the hand that was pressing in to the thigh, tuck it behind the knee and then hinge forward, pause here. We don't have to go very far to get that stretch, do we? Now, as we breathe, we're anchoring that right foot into the floor. So we're pressing in to that foot and we notice that helps dive just a little bit deeper into that whole muscular contraption there the Universal Designs Committee idea of a good time, all the things that plug into the pelvis and the hips. <laughs> we're gonna come back to vertical with our heart and we're gonna release that foot to the floor. Find our breath again. And take attention from the sole of the foot up the left side of the body and just notice the impact of that stretch and how far up that side of the body you notice the effect of that stretch. Let's switch legs now. So now we're gonna bring that right leg up and rest it above. The shin, I mean above the, the other shin, also called the knee, we're holding the bottom of the foot. We're taking the forearm and gently pressing into the top of the thigh of the right leg. And you might notice that one side is very different in sensation. And of course, at any point, if this feels like too much, just slide your leg down to the ankle so the ankles are crossed. We're breathing here and then we start that rocking motion forward and back. 
we're holding on to the bottom of the right foot with the toes flexed back toward the knee and gentle pressure going into the thigh. And the next time we're forward, we're gonna pause, press into that left foot and hang out here for a few breath cycles. And then we straighten back up and we're going to release that foot to the floor. Pause for a moment to notice the sensation from the sole of the foot as far up the body as we can observe the sensation flowing. And it can be different from the left to the right. So we're gonna take our belly forward toward our lap, float the arms up, bringing them to that nice Y, and then sliding them down to the A, and then hinging forward, floating the arms forward at the shoulders, coming up to the Y, floating the arms down to the A, belly toward the lap, here we go, arms float forward, up to the Y, and then we pause. We've been very consistent with our sit stand. And so we're gonna be doing that again, for those of you new to the sit stand. We take ourselves to standing and we sit down and we do as many of those as we can in 13 seconds. So we're responsible for our own count. Let's get ready, get set, here we go. Keep that breath moving. And we're going to stand. We're going to bring ourselves all the way to standing. Cancel that. And now we're coming to mountain. So we're going to pause in mountain. Our feet are about sits bone width or hip joint width apart. We're going to pause here and begin to notice our breath. Bringing the attention into the feet. Now notice the arch of the right foot. Breathe in and sense whether or not there is a little bit of a lift as we breathe in and then a little settling as we breathe out. So we're just sensing our way into this subtle action. And now we take it to the, the left foot, notice. And then on the in breath, see if there's a gentle lift and a settling on the out breath. And now, Holding both arches in mind, we breathe in and out. And you might notice there's a little bit of a rocking that goes on when we begin to notice the arches of the feet, lifting and settling. So when we were sitting on the chair, the in-breath took us forward, the out-breath takes us back. Noticing the lifting of the arches, is that happening also? And then we pause and shake it out.
going to do a little short step work here now. So last week we talked about if we take our feet wide, so we're coming into like a warrior one, we, we, if we can bring ourselves forward with just the feet without having to hinge and use momentum from the upper body, it means that our pelvis is really supporting the upper body's weight. So we're gonna do short step today because that's available to all of us. So maybe the feet are as wide as the mat. We've got that back foot is turned in a little bit and the front toes are pointing out, pointing forward. And we're going to bring our shoulders forward with the straight leg. And then we bend our knee and draw the shoulders back, shoulder blades together. We're gonna straighten that front leg, draw the shoulder blades toward, the shoulders toward each other, the back of the hands toward each other. And then a gentle bend in the knee, shoulders come back. So now we're flowing here. The out breath is when we come forward. The in breath is when we lift our heart and open the shoulders together. Here we go. So flow with this. Find your own rhythm of breath. And then we pause. Turn the toes forward, feet come to parallel. Slide the hands down and maybe to the shins, maybe the top of the thighs and wag our tail. Slight bend in the knee to press into the floor to bring ourselves to standing. We're going to turn to the other side. So we turn that front foot out. The back foot comes to a 45 degree angle. The action is when the front knee is straight, the shoulders come forward. Then we do a gentle bend and the shoulders blades come back together. So now we're breathing. This is the out breath. This is the in breath. Out breath, in breath. Hello to that, that space between the shoulders, right? And one more time. We're gonna bring our feet to parallel. We're gonna hinge forward bringing our torso parallel to the floor. So if you have any osteo issues, so osteopenia or osteoporosis, it really is helpful to keep the, bot, the torso parallel to the floor so there's no extra weight on the spine. So we pause here for bone health. If you want a little bit more, and your body is, and your bones are happy. Maybe the hands slide down toward the feet and the head releases. <sighs> to rise out of this, we're gonna bend our knees and we're gonna bring our forearms to rest on top of our thighs. Bring the heart up just a little bit. So now we're in a squat. If your knees are bugging you, make it a very shallow squat. You can rest the hands on the thighs. Now we're gonna press into the feet and we're gonna come up to standing. <sighs> Step or hop the feet together. And then we come back to mountain. So
So we're noticing our breath again. This time as we breathe in, notice whether or not your heart lifts. And as we breathe out, perhaps your heart settles. Let the jaw be soft here. Now taking the feet into that short step again, we're gonna to aim toward the left. So we got one knee and one leg in front. The back foot is turned at a 45 degree angle. There's space between our feet. So we're on skis or a railroad track, not on a tightrope. And then we're gonna bend that front knee, sweep the arms up, Take them to the Y. That's available to almost all of us is the Y shape. That back leg is strong and we're pressing into the back edge of the back foot. That's going to awaken the hip flexor in that leg. So we pause here, breathe in. And on the out breath, we're gonna fold forward. Nice bend in the knee. On the in breath, we're gonna rise. Keep a bend in that front knee. On the out breath, we fold. Keep that knee nice and strong. Breathe in to rise and breathe out to fold. We're gonna rise again. Hands float down, come to the waist, straighten that front knee, turn both feet forward, shake the tail. And now we're gonna to turn to the other side. Again, make sure there's distance between the feet. That back foot is turned at a 45 degree angle. We're gonna do a slight bend in the front knee. It doesn't have to be very deep. We wanna keep that knee nice and stable. It may wanna rock, but see what we can do by pressing into our foot to hold this. And then that's the front foot. And in the back foot, we're pressing into the back edge, the back side of the, the back side of the air. Huh, 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 words, the outside edge of the foot, we're pressing there. <laughs> We're going to float the arms up to that Y and we're going to fold forward. Keep that front knee bent. Breathe out as we fold, breathe in as we rise. Keep the pressure on the back foot, on the back edge of the back foot, outside edge of the back foot. Here we go. We're going up and down. One more time. And then we rise and the arms float down, come to our waist, toes turn forward, folding. And we do a little wag of the tail. Now bend the knees a little bit and come back up to mountain. Pause here and find a breath. Noticing the breath as it moves in and out of the body. Noticing the arches in the feet as we breathe in and out. Perhaps noticing the forward and back as we breathe in and out. Then 
won't you join me now back seated on the chair? So find your way into the chair and I sit. And we'll find our center, our breath, our Shavasana. Sometimes when I begin my yoga practice, I feel like I have individual parts of my body. Oh, there's my arm and there's my leg and there's my back and there's my chin. And sometimes at the end of practice, I feel pretty unified. Nothing is really dragging at my attention or calling for me to pay attention. It is as if a harmony has taken place through conscious awareness, intention, and breath. Helen Keller says, the most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Here's to all the beautiful things in your life that you feel with your heart. So we're gonna open our arms wide to gather all the blessings that already exist and we draw them in appreciation and gratitude in 